yeah, obviously tough, um, difficult way to end the game. Um, proud of our group, love our group. You know, honestly, we didn't play well enough for, I didn't think quite a while, um, in that game, that third quarter was, was bad, um, really bad and put us behind, obviously going into the fourth. Um, I love the rally. I love the fight. Um, Quinterly, you know, kept us in that thing almost single-handedly. Her and Jordan, um, they're about the only two that had anything going offensively. Um, and so just, yeah, not a flow offensively. Um, we did attack, made some big shots there in that fourth quarter. Um, but, yeah, I mean, Baylor made a few more plays, punched us in the third quarter for sure, and, and got us on our heels. Um, you know, and then, yeah, well, everybody's going to want to talk maybe about, you know, the turnover late or the, the you know, that end-of-game situation. But we got the ball to the – you know, the kid who had the hot hand and just unfortunate circumstance there late. And, um, you know, just, yeah, it is one of those nights for us. And, uh, yeah, this one this one hurts, but we don't have time really to, to dwell on it too long. Um, we'll have to regroup. And uh, every time this team's kind of been been hit, um, we've, we've seemed to respond all year. So I, I don't know that we won't. Um, and I have full confidence that we will. And we need to finish with, with these next two. But we'll go on the road to Oklahoma State and see what we can do there and then get back home. Um, Great crowd, great environment, really good college women's basketball game again um, against two, I think, really, really good teams. I think Baylor is as, as talented as any team we've played, um, you know, and, and they're playing really well right now. Um, and so um, we just got to regroup and we just got to keep finding ways to get a little bit better and see what we can do. Um, but I still love them. I'm still proud of them. Um, but again, but thanks to everybody for coming. We've had a good alumni weekend um, as well. So really, really good turnout today. So hopefully we can build off of that. What, I want, what I'd like to know is how you knew 23 seconds into the third quarter that the world was coming apart. I mean, to call a timeout that quick and go off like you did. Uh... Um, I, well, it wasn't coming apart. It just uh, wasn't very good response um, in the third quarter. And, um, you know, we missed some assignments and just really were, were way too lackluster for me. And so it was more of a message than it was anything else is like, let's try to in this now before it goes the other way and haven't done that much with this team, but really didn't like the response. And we've, we've traditionally been pretty good in the third quarter um, throughout the year. So we just, we didn't have the right, right look about us. No, there was more than that. We'd already given up. We'd already lost the lead. Coach, obviously, I mean, there's no rally in the first place without JJ's play. And I mean, it might not even be a close game if JJ doesn't get going there. But, and then to will the team back into it and then to have that moment at the end. What do you say to her after the, after the game? I mean, what, what was she like after the... Well, yeah, obviously hurt and disappointed in herself and a little emotional. But, no, you just tell her you love her and don't... Hey, it didn't come down to that one play. You know, without her, we wouldn't have been, we wouldn't have been in it. Um, you know, and no, I mean, we're going to replay it. I'm going to replay it. I'm going to look at it, you know. Like, did you get it the right spot and, you know, which... I mean, just lots of stuff from a coaching standpoint that you play. So I could have been better. Her teammates could have been better for her. Um, but you're right. Without her, we wouldn't even have been in that situation. And, yeah, just probably got a little sped up and was probably trying to take some time off and dribble it around. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, tried to make a play to get back in it and even foul her or block a shot. And so she kept playing, fighting through it. Um, so, no, we told I told him love on her and rally around her and, uh, we know the value of JJ, and, and I think she'll be she'll be okay. But certainly disappointed right now. At what point, or any point, do you even look at the Big Twelve standings? You're hanging on to that four spot, which gets you that two round buy. Now Baylor's one game back. Does that play a factor in anything going forward, or do you not even worry about that? Yeah, I mean, I, no, you don't worry about it by any stretch. I mean, we know where we're at, and we know what's you know essentially on the line late. I'm just glad we're still playing for you know, important things this late, you know, into February and early March. So, yeah, there's two to go, and we're right there in, in a good spot. So, no, we bounce back. We still control our own destiny for that spot. If you want to look at it that way, um, we win two, then we get it. Um, you know, if we don't, then we end up in some tiebreaker fashion. But I don't even know what that is. It might be head-to-head, -head, and now Baylor would have that on us. Um, so we just need to take care of business. Coach, this is kind of a double-edged sword question. Look at the games that you guys have lost. They've all been against – Really good teams. They've all been poor shooting nights for you guys too. Uh, how, how do you look at it? Do you look at it as man, you know, we, we need to find a way to get more plays, or hey, you know, we those are five good teams we've we've lost. I mean, well, yeah, sure. I mean, uh, yeah, we have lost to really quality basketball teams. There's no question. You know, the hurdle for us is to continue to try to beat those 
teams. I mean, we have a couple times, but would like to have a couple of them back. Um, you know, but yeah, Baylor was what ranked fourth, I think, at one point in the country. Had a win over Utah. Kansas State was ranked second in the country. So if we're playing them to one possession games, then I would like to think we're, you know, we're right there. Um, you know, and just a possession away. And we're young and we're new and. Um, you know, and so we're learning, and I think we're going to grow, and we keep learning every time we go through these situations. This was the gauntlet of our schedule when we're playing these four out of five games against ranked teams. So, you know, things like this can happen. Um, so I, I think the last thing I want to do is overreact to it. I think we should be disappointed because we didn't take advantage of the opportunity. Um, but I think we're also right there, um, you know, and I think that's the beauty of this is that, man, we are playing with some of the elite teams in the country, and Baylor has been one of those, and they had a little skid, but they've regrouped here it looks like and playing really well. Um, but, you know, the OU win was a great win for us and to get, you know, get that game to overtime against Kansas State, who was healthy and, you know, was two in the country and had the win over Iowa and all those types of things. Like, and if we're doing that, then I think we're, we're in a good spot. And so we just need to keep fighting and, yeah, get to this tournament and hopefully get a good seed and the right matchup and then, you know, hopefully advance to the NCAA tournament and see what we can do there. Um, with the very last possession, you just you tell Jordan, just, just do what you did against K-State or? or yeah, yeah. No, it's a it's a read, kind of read option. But, yeah, her, she would get the ball in her hands and get her with some momentum where, you know, she's pretty elite and dynamic with the ball in her hands. And, you know, yeah, I mean, they were back and they were kind of taking away the paint, um, you know, and so there wasn't going to be a ton there. I haven't seen it back to see if there was any other real options um, for her to make. So, yeah, I mean, they ran it for the most part correctly. Um, you know, and you talk through those things and try to practice, but it's never like you, know, you got to go through it live for them to really – really understand it. Coach, can you put your finger on why you guys weren't effective the three-point shot today? No, not really. I mean, because I think, what, Lauren went 0 for 7, and I think everyone, I mean, for the most part, like, she was open, um, you know, but, yeah, just didn't, she didn't have it. I mean, we couldn't get Kylie got in foul trouble. We had no rhythm with her. Kyle was not herself. You know, I mean, so there's parts of it, guys. I mean, we played this with really two kids that scored it. Tirza gave us some good minutes. Um, but we had three starters score three combined for three points like that is going to be really hard to win you know when you do that and you know we didn't shoot it great but we found our way to what 42 percent um you know the fourth quarter you know was better um that third quarter well, we lost it in the third quarter I mean that's where we lost the game was in the third quarter we had played hard enough defended well enough but we gave up a 25 point quarter like that's hard to win when you're playing teams of this quality and you know their depth is great and so they got I think what five and double figures you know and so their depth is phenomenal they bring one off and there's another just highly recruited highly talented kid coming off the bench and so we need you know my goal has always been four and double figures we didn't get that our assists were too low um, you know so we weren't moving it but they're late it was just forget about it just drive it and see if we can get something going um, which so our fourth quarter response was good um, you know, and we put, what would we score in the fourth? 23, I think that says. So, you know, so we fought back and gave ourselves a chance, but we dug the hole. That was on us in the third quarter. You mentioned you're confident in your team's ability to bounce back. What is it about this team that makes you confident, and, and specifically about JJ, too? Yeah, just, I mean, because every time we go through it, they, they have proven me. You know, I, what is that? I don't know. that's, you know, that calm, cool, collected, even keel demeanor probably that just they don't seem to get too high, never seem to get too low. You know, this will be a low point for us, you know, and just the way the game ended and, and for JJ probably. But I, I think she'll bounce back. The kid is such a competitor, such a competitor that I just, I, I think she'll be fine and we'll regroup tomorrow and meet and talk it through and make sure we turn our attention on the next one and, and get this one behind us as quickly as possible. JJ's three that put you ahead. It was right in front of you on the bench. She kind of hesitated before she took it. Did you tell her to shoot it? No, I don't think. No, I don't think it's a read play for her and a feel. I mean, she kind of hesitates all the time on that three. Um, you know, so no, it's a feel. I mean, she had the option. It, it was a ball screen play, and um, you know, yeah, she just felt good, I guess. So uh, yeah, she pulled it, and yeah, it looked good as soon as it let her hand though left her hands. I did have that angle. So yeah, big shot. Yeah, she made some huge plays for us late. Talking about Lauren, uh, Kaya, the heart, you know, they didn't get going. So at what point do you, you know, okay, Jordan, JJ, we're just running stuff a few times. Did that point come or did you try to keep everyone in involved? Uh, a little bit of both. No, I mean, at some point, I mean, we took Jor or, uh, Lauren out a little bit to give Jayla an opportunity and who has been playing a little bit better. But, you know, Lauren try still defends her butt off and, play and competes, you know, and she just didn't get any, th any offensive rhythm. So you go with Jayla, who, you know, had a big three and another really good look at one and some layups. So I thought her minutes were good. Um, a couple good rebounds. You know, we went with Tears, Tears a little bit, Danelle a little bit, just to give us a bigger presence. Um, 
you know, and so, yeah, no, we were just mixing and matching and trying to find something that, that worked. And, um, you know, for the most part, it was Jordan and JJ tonight. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks guys.